<laughs> okay, so it's located in the center of Japan. Yeah, and uh, their history begins with the settlement of the Lord Toshi Iemaida in 1583. And uh, he tried to avoid conflicts with central government and promote to arts and culture. And the successive lords of this area <coughs> founded the uh, basement of our cultural policy in this region. And the third lord, Toshitsune, <coughs> invited highly skilled craftsmen from Kyoto and Tokyo. And the fifth lord, uh, Tsunanori, uh, started building of our famous Japanese garden, Kenokuen Garden. And compared to other cities in Japan, and Kanazawa uh, remained on uh, old modes and cityscapes because we the city escaped damage during the two world wars. And Kanazawa's culture has been passed down from the Edo period to the present day, and people found the practicing traditional performing arts such as no theater and traditional music instruments and i also practice this ceremony myself and kanazawa has added innovation to its tradition um, this is the 21st century museum of contemporary art kanazawa the disc shaped exterior is a representative of characteristic of this museum. Uh, people can enter this museum from every direction. Uh, this is the gate of the Kanazawa's main station. The shape of this gate comes from traditional instrument called Tsuzumi and the gate is called Tsuzumi Mon Gate. Uh, Kanazawa has uh, various kinds of crafts and we have six nationally designated traditional craft industries which means the craft industries designated by the Ministry of Economy uh, uh, Trade and Industry based on the law and we have another 16 rare traditional crafts Uh, this is the Kanazawa gold leaf. Uh, almost 100% of Japan's gold leaf is produced in Kanazawa. And we have two types of uh, gold leaf. One is Entsuke and the other one is Tachikiri. Uh, the first one is made in a traditional way. And the Tachikiri gold leaf is was invented for mass production. And the Entsuke gold leaf was inscribed on the UNESCO uh, representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity in 2020. Gold leaf is used for decoration in the station. And this is Kanazawa lacquerware. The lacquerware started when <clears throat> the uh, prestigious maki artist Igarashi Doho was invited from Kyoto. The, the craft also uses gold leaves and gold powders and metal, other silver powders too. This is Kagayuzen silk dyeing. Uh, this craft is used for the, our traditional costume, kimono. And this craft is also used for decoration of our main station. And we have uh, Kutani porcelain. Uh, the traditional craft skills have been applied to new products such as wedding dress and wine glasses. This is Kanga embroidery. Uh, 
the kanga embroidery was brought from Kyoto as a decorative technique for clothing and at a, uh, for the Buddhist ceremony at the beginning of the 14th to 16th century. This is Kanazo Buddhist home altars. The crafts also uses gold leaves. And we have also rare traditional crafts like this. Kanga. This is Kanga inlaying Ohi ware and other crafts. The production of those crafts are <coughs> maintained to the present days. And a small number of people are engaged in producing those crafts. Our city formulated a uh, Kanazawa Koge action plan in March 2020. And a basic principle of the plan is to make Kanazawa a world city of crafts that will nurture handicraft artists and art artisans and security users of crafts and develop and pass down its crafts to next generations. And we have four visions. One is to become a city world with intriguing crafts and to become a city that enables crafts to develop, spread inspiring crafts works around the world and pass down crafts for generations to come. To achieve the first goal, to become a city world filled, filled with intriguing crafts, uh, we annually hold a uh, craft festival. Uh, in the event, we will we'll provide, uh, we will open a craft sales booth, craft making experience booth, and a kimono wearing experience booth. Galleries and shops sell their products, and children can experience craft making and visitors can wear authentic Kanga Yuzen silk kimono. And also we established and artisans with users of crafts. We hold workshops and lectures for galleries and people who are interested in crafts to acquire the knowledge of traditional crafts and to become a coordinators to connect users and artists. And we have two uh, promotional shops in, one is in Kanazawa and the other one is in Tokyo. The promotional shop in Kanazawa is for rare traditional crafts and the one, uh, the promotional shop in Tokyo is for uh, is to expand sales channels in the uh, capital areas of Japan. They hold uh, workshops to make craft works for ordinary people. And also they have uh, workshops to make uh, Japanese confectionaries. And also they have a restaurant uh, cuisines with local foods are served on tableware with traditional crafts of Canada world. To achieve the second goal to become a city that enables crafts to develop, we are doing this, these measures. The one is we hold a, a seminars related companies to to reinforce product planning branding of their products and management skills and also so we have subsidies for artists uh, to promote product development or uh, to promote them to participate in exhibition or host exhibition and participate in fairs and also we have subsidies for artists to, uh, to covering a part of the cost of opening a craft studio or uh, set up a space for craft making experience class in an existing studio.
to achieve the third goal to become a city that spreads inspiring crafts around the world we have uh, exchange programs with other creative cities overseas and also our city uh, holder during and Nali of Koge in Kanazawa and Kanazawa craft exhibition online the, the three Nali of Koge in Kanazawa started in 2010 uh, it consists of two parts. One is open call exhibition and the other one is special exhibition. In 2022, we will hold the fifth edition of the event. And uh, we have currently a uh, Kanazawa craft exhibition online. This project started in 2022 to support craft artisans who had lost opportunities to exhibit their artworks due to the pandemic. And more than 400 artists and 40 uh, galleries and shops participated in this project. They can post pictures of artworks and video clips of message and video clips to show how they make their own artworks on the website. And we have another exhibition, uh, Kanazawa City Craft Exhibition. It has a long story and the 78th edition will be held in March 2022. Uh, to achieve the fourth vision to become a city that passed down crafts for generations to come. We promote conservation in inheritance of technical skills and knowledge. We have scholarship system to support uh, people. And also we have workshops to, to learn the rare traditional crafts And we have the uh, Research Institute of Promotion of Kagayuzen Technical Skills and Metal Leaf Technical Skills. They have also workshops. Now I would like to explain about my, uh, the projects uh, we have done as a creative city. Uh, our city was designated as a creative city in 2009. And we have three visions as a creative city. One is to link culture with business. And the second one is cultivate a few to human resources for cultural development. And the last one is to attract international attention. Uh, as I mentioned, we have two institutes. One is for uh, material leaf technical skills, and the other one is Kagayuzen technical skills. And also, we have a promotional shop in Tokyo. And we have uh, a three, a, in, one in educational institution and two uh, training institutions. Uh, we have Hanazawa College of Art, and it has a, a degree courses of bachelor, master, and doctorate course. And Kanazawa Utazuyama Craft Workshop has uh, five craft workshops, including ceramics, uh, metalworks, fabric dyeing, uh, glasswork and local wear. It's a training workshop. And also we have Kanazawa Institute of Traditional Crafts. <laughs> and we hold our classes, craft classes for children. 
In 2015, we hosted the UNESCO Creative Cities Meet Network meeting, and we had a, a Marriott's Roundtable and at the Marriott's Roundtable, our mayor suggested two visions. Uh, one is to strengthen exchanges within each area. And the other one is to promote cooperation with cities in different creative fields. Based on these two suggestions, uh, our city has implemented the project of uh, the creative city since then. Uh, we have uh, implemented exchange programs with these cities on the map. Uh, this, these are pictures of artists in residence with a city in South Korea, Asian. We sent an art ceramic artist to, uh, to Ichan, South Korea, and she stayed at a home of a master ceramist of Ichan, and she learned the tradition, uh, traditional Korean ceramic technical skills. She also uh, participated uh, in an event to uh, learn cuisine, Korean cuisine. And also, we have done an artist in residence program in Kanazawa. We have invited uh, two artists from Ichun and Zindezhen in China. They learned uh, uh, Kanazawa's traditional ceramic technical skill at a individual uh, ceramic studio. And the Mr. Uh, uh, the the person uh, created this artwork and contributed it to our city after the project. They have also the artist talk event for this, for our citizens. Uh, each artist from China, South Korea, and Japan explained about their cities and also how they uh, create their artworks. And in 2019, we invited an artist from Zindezhen again, and she participated in a cultural event to learn about uh, tea ceremony. She also contributed a plate she made in Kanazawa to our city. And we have implemented projects to further strengthen cooperation with cities in different creative fields. Uh, we have imp uh, we implemented an artist in residence program with a media artist media art city Angion Levan in France. We sent a grass artist to uh, Angion Levan in France, and they created a joint artworks in France. And this is about the Bibimbap Festival in Jeonju in 2018. We sent representatives from Kanazawa to Jeonju to, to participate in this event. A Kanga Inlang artist participated in this and she demonstrated how she created her artworks. And also she exhibited her artworks. And we have also experienced booths 
to open the local people in Jeonju. At the festival, we have also another booth to ex exhibit the our craft Kutani porcelain with Korean foods. And this is another project with Busan uh, Creative City of Film in South Korea. We have in, uh, we invited two film directors from Busan and they stayed in Kanazawa for, for two about two weeks to film the interviews with ceramic artists and local wear artists and they make a film of about 40 minutes and the film the film was screened in South Korea in 2018. Now we have a uh, growing network and uh, it becomes very difficult to to exchange with other cities uh, in the big network. So we need to focus on our smaller networks and we hosted a sub-network meeting in 2019. Due to the typhoon, the participants, uh, many participants could not attend the meeting, but we could discuss problems with cities and share good practices with participants' cities. In 2020, Kanazawa hosted a uh, UNESCO Creative Cities Network Japan meeting. Uh, due to the pandemic, uh, many participants could not participate in the meeting in person, but they participated it online. Uh, and we reconfirmed re the importance of collaborating with other creative cities at the network, at the meeting, sorry. Sorry, so this is, the, that's all my presentation.